This, this is Jamie Newman. Jamie Newman going into the 2020 college football season was seen as one of the top quarterbacks in all of college football. Somebody that was going to help lead Georgia to the playoffs. Somebody that was going to compete for the Heisman Trophy. And seen as someone that was going to be a for sure first and or second round pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. But a few months later, he went undrafted and was recently released as an undrafted free agent from the Philadelphia Eagles. This is B. Kelly back again with another banger video. And in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be talking about what happened to Jamie Newman. And before I continue on with the video, remember to smash that like button as it does help grow the channel. And I highly appreciate it. And we are on this road to 10k subs. And that would really help it out with the growth for the channel. Now let's get on to the video and start it off back at high school. Jamie Newman as a senior at Graham High School in Graham, North Carolina was the starting quarterback for his varsity's high school football team. Now his team in that season went 4-8, and 3-2 and two in conference play, and for this season, Jamie Newman played in 10 games where he completed 50% of his passes, threw for 12 touchdowns and 8 interceptions, but on the ground, he did rush for 4 yards per carry, rushing for 378 yards in total for the season, and 9 touchdowns on the ground. Coming out of high school, Jamie Newman was not the most highly touted recruit out of the class of 2016. Now, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite Rankings, he ranked as a three-star recruit, the 649th best player in the nation, the 17th best dual-threat quarterback, and the 30th best player in the state of North Carolina. He held a total of 11 offers coming out of high school, some of his most notable ones coming from Wake Forest, Boston College, Duke, Vanderbilt, and West Virginia, just to name a few. When it came time for a commitment, it really seemed like some of his top schools in his recruitment were Vanderbilt, West Virginia, and Wake Forest, and he would ultimately choose to go to Wake Forest and join the Demon Deacons. When he first got to Wake Forest in 2016, as a true freshman, he would end up redshirting. As a redshirt freshman in the 2017 college football season, he would only play in one game as he was a backup quarterback and only attempted four passes where he completed two of them for eight yards. He also threw zero touchdowns and one interception. Going into the 2018 college football season, as a redshirt sophomore, he went into the season as the second string quarterback for Wake Forest behind starting quarterback Sam Hartman. But after Sam Hartman went down with injury, he would start the final four games where he played very well. And even in the bowl game, he was the MVP of that game. Now for his stats as a redshirt sophomore in 2018, he played in six games, completing 60% of his passes, throwing for 1,083 yards, nine touchdowns, and only four interceptions, as well as rushing for 247 yards, averaging four yards per carry and four touchdowns on the ground. After Jamie Newman played very well for Wake Forest in the end of the 2018 season, there was a quarterback controversy going into 2019 with him and Sam Hartman. And it was one that the fans really wanted to see and see who was going to win as these were both quarterbacks that showed a lot of potential for Wake Forest. But ultimately, going into 2019, the starting quarterback was none other than Jamie Newman. For the 2019 season, this was Jamie Newman's first ever season at the collegiate level where he was the starter from the start. And in this season, he definitely didn't disappoint, as in 12 games played, he completed 61% of his passes, threw for 2,868 yards, 26 touchdowns, and only 11 interceptions. On the ground, he rushed for 500-plus yards and 6 total touchdowns, while leading Wake Forest to an 8-5 record. After his very impressive 2019 campaign, a lot of people had a lot of respect for Jamie Newman, as he was a very good quarterback and really impressed a lot of people. And a lot of people thought he was going to be a top quarterback going into the next season. But shortly after the bowl game for Wake Forest, he would enter his name into the transfer portal. And Jamie Newman was the college football world's hot topic. As a lot of people wanted to know where would his next step be. Since he was a dynamic quarterback and many believed going to the right team he could lead a team to the playoffs. Jamie Newman would indeed go to a team that had playoff aspirations for 2020, that wanted to be a top SEC team and a top team in all of college football, 
but they needed a quarterback that actually had a lot of experience and one that was only going to be there for a season for the young guys that were quarterbacks on their roster to be brought up. And that was none other than Jamie Newman going to Georgia. After the news broke that he would end up going to Georgia, the college football world was on fire as people were in awe of what Jamie Newman could do at Georgia. People were talking about winning the SEC. People were talking about him potentially winning the Heisman. And people were definitely talking about him being a first round pick and being a top quarterback in the 2020 season. From the outside looking in, this looks like a very great opportunity for Jamie Newman to show what he can do on a team that is already really good. They have offensive weapons and they have defensive weapons to back you up whenever you're not on the field. And this was going to be a great opportunity to see what Jamie Newman could do on a top college football team and competing against some of the top teams in college football in the SEC. But the problem is all this hype that Jamie Newman had going into 2020 would eventually just fade away as he would end up opting out of the 2020 college football season. Now, at the time, this looked like a pretty decent decision to make as there was a lot of uncertainty with college football and the season just in general and as well as the world. As, I mean, if you're not living under a rock, you know what has happened in 2020. Really don't need to go in too much depth of it because you know what happened. Yeah, the, basically the world on lockdown and everything in uncertainty and nobody knowing when everything's going to be going back to normal. The thing is, him opting out of the 2020 season, just like many other college athletes, would ultimately hurt him in the end. Talking about college athletes and opting out of the season, you have to talk about Jamie Newman and how much this past season and opting out of it really hurt him. He came from a guy who was seen as potentially as a first round pick that fell all the way to hoping he would be a seventh round pick and would ultimately end up going undrafted after having a very lackluster and disappointing week at the Senior Bowl. In the 2021 NFL Draft, Jamie Newman would not hear his name called as he would end up going undrafted. Shortly thereafter, Jamie Newman would end up signing as an undrafted free agent with the Philadelphia Eagles, hoping to make the final roster. He was now a Philadelphia Eagle competing for a spot on the team, hoping to make the final roster as the backup quarterback or at least make the practice squad. But things have not gone as planned for Jamie Newman in Philadelphia. Jamie Newman's time as a Philadelphia Eagle was cut short. He didn't even make it to the preseason and is now already an NFL free agent. Now, it's very up in the air what's going to happen next for Jamie Newman. I do think he's going to get another opportunity with another team. And it's really hard to predict if he's going to make the final roster or a practice squad or not. As you're going to really have to see him ball out in the preseason first. And if things do not go as planned, Jamie Newman might be playing in the Spring League and or playing in the XFL that's coming back pretty soon. If you guys have made it this far in the video, I want you all to leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. If you think Jamie Newman is going to bounce back and get on another NFL team and show them what he's about. Also, before you leave, remember to smash that like button, turn on them post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. B. Kelly, out. <laughs>